Are you ready to set up your first PayPal account so you can start receiving donations while you're streaming on Twitch? Lucky for you, in today's video, I'm going to be holding your hand step by step to make sure that there's no headache whatsoever. So if that sounds good to you, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find this video to relieve that headache. And if not for that, for this cool little cube that I found. But enough nonsense, let's get into it. So by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how you're going to have a nice little donate button below your stream or in your chat. We'll click this button. It'll bring you to your Streamlabs donation page where people can type in the amount they want to donate to you, and then they can donate to you while you're streaming live on Twitch. So in order to do this, we have to go to Streamlabs.com. By the way, I'm going to leave everything linked in the description down below so you can easily follow along at home. But the first time you go to Streamlabs.com, you're going to log in with your Twitch account when it prompts you to. Once you've logged in, it'll give you a couple prompts, but you can just press the skip button until you get to this home page. From here, go to the top where you can find this little search bar, and we're going to type in donation set. Settings. And it's going to be this one right here. We'll click that. And now you can see it gives us a couple different options. We have this nice blue PayPal bar, which we're actually not going to be using. We're going to be using the PayPal legacy because we're going to be setting up a personal PayPal account. The difference between a personal PayPal account and a business PayPal account is that the business is going to require a lot more information from you. I choose to use a business PayPal account because it hides my real name when people are donated to me. It just goes with my business name. However, it is a little bit more of a headache to set up. If you want to do the business route i'll leave a video in the top right corner going over exactly how to set it up and do that route but in this video i'm going to be going over the personal because it's way easier to set up and the only information that it gives your twitch stream is what your name is so if you're okay with your twitch chatters knowing what your name is then this is going to be the video for you so if we click on paypal legacy it'll say that they need our paypal email so first of all we need to go make a paypal personal account so let's go to paypal.com also linked in the description below so now that we're on paypal.com we'll click on sign up in this top right corner here and then we're going to be prompted with do we want to do a personal account or a business account and I went over the two basically the only one that you really need to know is that the personal account is gonna be the easier one to set up it's gonna require less information from you and it's only gonna show your name to your twitch chatters so if that's a problem for you then you're gonna want to set up a business account but like I said you're gonna have to jump through a lot more hoops in order to get that set up but I got a video in the top right corner if you want to try that out but for this video we're doing the personal account so I'm gonna click personal account and click next it's gonna prompt us for our mobile phone number real quick so I'm gonna put in my mobile phone number and then I'll hit next now it's gonna send a code to your phone number which you're gonna have to verify to make sure it's you to prevent people from making a bunch of random fake PayPal accounts because this is real money that we're talking about and you're gonna have to withdraw it to your bank anyways so they just want to make sure that you are who you say you are so once you've entered in the code that they sent to your cell phone now it's gonna ask for your email your first name last name and to create a password you're gonna want to use your legal information here because like I said we are working with real money and it is possible that you might have to pay taxes on these donations since this is technically income so just fill out the form with your email your first name last name and come up with a creative password to make sure it's nothing like one two three password or something easy to guess like that and then once you've filled all this information out click the next button now that we put that information in we need to put on our current address where we're living because like I said we might have to pay taxes on this so they just have to make sure that we are who we say we are but this is just for PayPal's database so you don't have to worry about any of this information going out to any of the public and once you put your information in there then click agree and create account next it might prompt you with a couple other things here we don't need to do any of this stuff right now so I'll just just click on not sure add to card to later use from here they're gonna ask you to either link your bank account or your credit card I would link my bank account just because that's what I'm gonna be withdrawing my twitch donations to so I'm able to spend that money but if you don't want to do this stuff right now just open up a new tab in your browser type in paypal.com and it'll just bring you to the home page with your new account so as you can see here I just opened up a new tab I didn't have to link my bank account or my credit card at this moment in time but now we want to make sure that we do any kind of verification that they ask for so they might need to see our driver's license or we might need to click a confirmation information email so just make sure if you get prompted with any of that just make sure you fill it out accordingly and legally because like I said this is real money we're working with so you don't want to put any fake information in so right about now you should have got an email from PayPal saying that hey we need to confirm your email so go to that email click on this little button that says confirm my email address if you didn't see it then it's probably gonna be in your spam folder or your junk folder so check those there now it's on the confirmation page so we just need to put in our password and then we're good to go so once you put your password in click on confirm my email and now it's going to verify and check your info, make sure that you are the right person. And now it's going to say, hey, do you want to link that credit card or bank account? And you can if you want, but for the purpose of this tutorial to keep it short, I'm just going to skip over it. But you can just exit out like so. And now it's going to prompt you with a couple other things to do. Not now. And now it says we're all set. Now we can send money and we can receive money with our account. So we can go and click on go to my account just to make sure. Make sure we're not getting hit with any verification if they need to do anything just to verify. 
click this and we are good to go so our personal paypal account is now set up what we want to do is take our email address that we use to sign up for this paypal account and put that into streamlabs so let's go back over to streamlabs so now that we have our personal paypal account set up click on paypal legacy and now let's enter in the paypal email that we signed up with that new paypal account we just created and once you have your email put in just click the green submit button and now we have successfully linked our PayPal account to our Streamlabs account. So now that we've linked our PayPal, you can see this little orange yellow kind of link right here. It says customize your tip page where viewers can send your donations. And this is now our donation link right here. So click this link right here. And if you don't have this link, all you have to do is just type in this first part right here, streamlabs.com forward slash your Twitch username, and it'll bring you to the same place. So if I click this link right here, this is what people are going to see when they click our donation link. So now you can see that this is my account that I just made it for. Now they can put in their username, how much they want to tip you and put a message. And then once they've done all that, they click the donate button. So how are we going to get people to get to this link? Well, we can do it one of two ways. So the first of two ways that I'm going to show you is just go ahead and copy your new donation page URL. So I'm just going to highlight it and press control C if you're on Windows. And then from here, let's go over to our Twitch page. Once we're on our Twitch page, we can go into our edit panels button right here. And then now we can just add a new panel with this little plus button. And then you can do add a text or image panel. And then from here, image links to, we put our link. And then if we want to add an image or if we want to make a panel that says donate, I've already actually made a video on how to make panels like that for free. So I'll leave that video linked in the top right corner. Or if you're too lazy to do that, you can just straight up copy this and just put it in the description and then you just name it donate. So now it's going to look pretty sloppy, but I'll hit submit and it'll just get the job done. So now this is what the panel is. It says donate and then this is the link. It's not a hyperlink either. So you would have to make it like a hyperlink using HTML. And if you don't know what that is, basically you would just have to do this where you would type in the bracket and then you can type in donate and then end bracket and then from here you want to make the parentheses before the link and then the parentheses after the link also this wasn't html it's markdown so excuse me i'm not a cs nerd but you know i'm trying here but now it'll say donate and if you click the donate little link the hyperlink then it'll just bring you to the page so right here you can see we've made a hyperlink we'll click it and that'll bring us to our donation page now if you don't want to go with this route you can always just use a bot like nightbot or whatever else you want to use and then whenever someone types a certain command in chat then it'll pop up the link in stream or you can use a timer that'll automatically post like every 15 to 20 minutes just your donation link in chat so if people are liking the stream and they want to support you then they can feel free to go through that way but i also have another video on how to use nightbot in the top right corner and then i also have a video on how to use the streamlabs cloud bot which has a lot of other features too so you can check out both of those videos you can use either one of those bots but since i've already made videos on it it'll be easier if you just watch those instead but now you got your PayPal account set up to your Streamlabs, to your Twitch account, so now you can get donations for your Twitch streams. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments below, and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to give me a chance and watch my video. If it helped, make sure to drop a like on the video to help other people find it. I want to thank all my patrons for believing in me. If you want to believe in me too, link is in the description down below. But obviously, that's not necessary if you don't want to. But feel free to check out some other videos on the channel. It's targeted towards brand new streamers and growing streamers. So if that interests you, feel free to check them out. But my name is Cody and I'll see you in the next one.